Hey, I'm Dave LaCalle with Head Games Motorworks, and guess what? I am standing in the spot of where our Centroid 5 axis A560 CNC is going to go, and we're going to talk all about it today. Check it out. So, right here is the footprint of where it's going to go, and that's the red and the black. And the issue I have is we have to put everything around it. So we're gonna to wanna to make a uh, tooling center. So we have our seat and guide machine, we got bridge ports and we gotta move the mill. Um, and the mill is like, where are we gonna put it? So I think we're gonna put it right where this bench is. So this bench here is to kind of see what we're gonna do. Um, it's uh, There's a lot of decisions because you can't move the thing. Once you put it down, once you run electric to it, you're kind of married to wherever you put it and the shop needs flow. So it's a big part of our place. Jeff Racer from Full Race came over here one day spitting and yelling at me. The place had to have flow. So we spent a lot of money and we put everything. So the whole shop's like a circle. Heads come in and they go all the way around and then they leave in the same spot. And they keep that flow and to put a big ass machine here, really really uh it, it's a lot of thought if you watched a lot of our videos you'll see we have a lot of road to cnc videos and that is because we uh, have been farming out our cnc work for uh about i guess a decade uh or maybe eight years or so we've been shipping it out and at first we were going to all over the country different shops that had plates so because uh, a cylinder head has to sit on a plate and once a plate goes into a CNC, and it's expensive to do the plates. A plate alone is almost $2,000, and you wanna be careful with that. So for us to do it, we wanted to make sure that we get went to somebody who already had a plate, and they can just digitize our stuff. So we'd send it there, we'd make a port here, send it there, they cut it, it comes back here, and we do the rest of the work. There's two problems with that. One, well actually there's many problems with that. First, you're sending yourself somewhere so you got to worry about shipping and you got to worry about shipping damage and you also have to worry that you're on their timeline and if uh, you're a busy shop like head games that can become hell and it just became a time that we needed to do it ourselves there was a time that we used to do everything by hand and then we moved to cnc and we i said we'd farm it out we'd take it to all these different places in the country and then we went to one guy but we made that guy so busy that this just had to happen. What this is gonna mean for head games is we're gonna be able to get into markets that we have never dabbled in because again, it was a plate issue and we're sending our ports out and people can take them, which actually hasn't been that big of a deal, but it, it, it is gonna make it so we can safely uh, move into a market and we can do all the development here, put it on our CNC and then move on from there and we can change it as we want to, which is not something we've been able to do in the past. Now, you're probably wondering why hasn't Head Games done this yet? Like, why did we wait until now to do this? And um, I can tell you that it's really just fear. It's fear of failure. We're on a world stage. Every, I mean, not everybody knows who we are, but I mean, a lot of people know who we are. And I always feared and that um, we're going to get this thing and the economic situation might change and we would basically go out of business. And all those things are still true and could absolutely happen. But what we have to realize is that fear is false evidence appearing real. So I, so I actually almost lost head games and everything I own in 2008 uh, during the crash we didn't pay any of our bills for four months and it got really really bad so i know what it's like to uh, uh to almost lose everything and i have ran from that fear for so long that um i've kind of put us in a position where we just have to do it and this goes in life and it goes you know all you guys a lot of times you have to push past your fears and you have to just go for it even if you're gonna fail, just go for it. And uh, a lot of racing has taught me that. A lot of being around a lot of racers who they don't care what's happening. They just know that they need to make that next race or they need to make that next round. 
and it doesn't matter if they fail or not, they just need to be there. And that's exactly what Hey Games is gonna do now. We're gonna just be there. I feel that we have an amazing team, probably one of the best teams that uh, Hey Games has ever had, and we're gonna be able to push past this. It's gonna be a little bit of a rocky road, I'm sure, a lot of changes, because everything's gonna be in-house now and we have to digitize everything, but it's here and we're gonna do this. Uh, it's gonna come next month. You're gonna see a lot of content about uh, our digitizing process and all that stuff. There's gonna be a lot of cool content on the porting itself uh, because I think a lot of people think that you can just walk up to a cylinder head or you walk up to a machine and you just say, you know, port it. And that's actually not the case. There's a lot that goes into uh, the whole back half of that before you get into actually digitizing something. So I really wanna say thank you to all of our customers, our clients, we, we do, um, I feel like we do amazing work. Uh, I feel like we're not the best, we're just one of the best. There's a lot of top shops in the country and uh, a lot of them have a CNC and now we're gonna be one of that crowd. And, uh, and that's another thing actually, I, I have to say that all the shops that uh, we've dealt with or competition you want, might wanna call it, uh, everybody's been so supportive of us getting a CNC. They all wanted to see us succeed and they're gonna all help, we're, we're all gonna help each other. And I, I just think that's such a beautiful thing when you, you, you on the outside of the industry, when if you guys are just watching or you, you just have a car, you don't realize that all the top guys talk and we're friends and we, we um, it's, it's really a beautiful thing. I, I'm so blessed to have all these people around me. That's gonna do it for this. I'm gonna, Leave this short and sweet and just let you know that CNC is coming. Uh, we're actually going to have some specials on porting for uh, the month that we are going through our digita uh, digitizing process. You're going to see sales on that particular cylinder head so we can get them all in. They are going to be a, uh, uh, a very timed thing so it's going to need to be in by a certain date in order for you to get the sale but it, there is going to be sales on every one. So the 2JZ is going to be our first one and it's going to be on sale in July. So if you get your head in here before August, you're going to have a $400 off your CNC porting, which is I think normally 1350 or so. So you get 400 bucks off of that. Um, please take advantage of that. I think you guys are going to really like what we got in store. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles. Yeah!